let's take a rapid fire look at the differences between Thrivecart Learn and Thrive Apprentice. First, let's take a look at the course management on the back end of the system. In Thrivecart Learn, this is what it looks like to create your courses. You have your courses listed under projects. You can click edit on a course, which takes you to a screen that shows your basic course setup details. You can add a module, edit a module, restrict access, turn on drip, publish, unpublish, very standard stuff. You can then click edit on a particular lesson. You can add a video, you can add a title, you can add bullet points, buttons, everything on the left here that you'd expect from Thrivecart. In Thrive Apprentice, the interface is pretty much exactly the same. You have your courses listed, you click into them, you can edit your course details. It's a little bit more visual on Thrive Apprentice, a little bit more spread out and laid out, whereas in Thrivecart, it's a little bit more condensed, but you edit the content much the same way. You have your modules, you can expand them, you can add lessons and chapters. When you have an empty module, you can add a lesson. When you go into your particular lessons, you just click edit, and then you can edit the details and you can add in a summary, a photo, pretty much exactly the same as Thrivecart Learn, or you can click edit, add content, and now much the same way, you can add a photo, you can add a video, you can do whatever you want. And as you can see here, it looks pretty much exactly the same. Let's take a look at the student management. In Thrivecart Learn, they have a section called My Students. You'll see your students listed here. You'll see if they're active or not. And when they first enrolled, you can click view their profile, which does give you a nice overview of, of all the courses that they are enrolled in. I like that it's visual. I like that you can see the completion of each student. This is a big feature that I think a lot of people want in Thrive Apprentice. Currently not available, but in Thrivecart Learn, they do show you how much of the course has been completed by the user. You have the ability to control at a course level, whether they're paused, disabled, or unenrolled in a course. And you can edit a student's details, resetting their password, deleting them, adding tags to them and things like that. In Thrive Apprentice, the user manager is a little bit more simplistic, but accomplishes pretty much the same goal. Your students are listed under your customers tab. When you click edit access, you are given the ability to add access or remove access to a course. All you have to do is click add access, check the boxes, whether they be bundles or individual courses, and they'll get access to that material. A big difference here is that you don't get a lot of details about the particular student, how much they've completed in a course and things like that. Now for bundles in Thrivecart Learn, it's really simple. You just click bundles or my bundles, click create bundle, and then choose which of your courses are going to be in the bundle and give the bundle a name. It's very simple. It appears here. And then this is something that you can sell in Thrivecart and give someone access to, and they'll get access to those courses. In Thrive Apprentice, it's equally as simple. You just come into the courses interface, go to course bundles, click add a bundle, check the courses that you want to add to the bundle and give it a name. In fact, it's exactly identical. For the front end, this is what a student would see in Thrivecart Learn. They would see this grayish black bar at the top. They would not see your logo, but they would see themselves in the top right as like their profile. They can click on this. They can edit their profile, sign out, and things like that. For the courses themselves, they'll see what they're enrolled in if it is lit up. Any courses they are not enrolled in will be grayed out, and they can hover over it and see you learn more to click on this to go to whatever page you've decided to give them access to. When they click on a course itself, they can go in and start taking the course immediately if they've been enrolled in it. And the interface looks pretty much exactly like this, but you can edit things like the color of the top bar once they're inside of the course. Still can't add a logo. They do get a go back button. The sidebar will list out the modules and the lessons inside of them with a progress bar and the square logo. And we're seeing the exact same thing we saw on the back end just now without the editor. In Thrive Apprentice, it's a little bit different. On the front end, you still do have a course list or a school homepage, as they call it, but you have complete granular control over every aspect of what it looks like. Thrivecart Learn, you get the square logo for your course and the course title and who it's by. On Thrive Apprentice, you can choose to include a little write-up. You can include the title. You can choose how many lessons are in there, what difficulty it's at. You can choose the size, the shape, the layout, vertical, horizontal, grid, masonry. You can basically choose whatever you want this page to look like. And because it's inside of your WordPress website, you have the ability to show whatever navigation you want because it is tied into the Thrive Apprentice School Builder. Basically, it's Thrive Theme Builder for Thrive Apprentice. You get complete control over how everything looks. Based on the templates that you've created, in this case, my template, they then see all of their modules and their lessons. They can then click go to lesson and they are shown a lesson which for me, it looks very similar to Thrivecart Learn, but I do have complete 100% control over what this looks like, whether there's a sidebar or not, 
what this looks like in the center. Every element is completely customizable. Now for the sign-in page, this is what it looks like for Thrivecart Learn. It has Thrivecart branding, it asks for their username, their password, and has a pre-configured message here. There is no ability to customize this page at the launch of Thrivecart Learn. This is what you get, and it is at the exact same URL that you've set up for Thrivecart until they add CNAME support. So right now, mine is secure.convology.com slash sign-in. That's not really great for a course platform. Hopefully with CNAME support, this could be learn.convology.com slash sign in. For Thrive Apprentice, if you haven't caught on by now, it's all 100% customizable. I've chosen exactly what my login screen looks like from the form to the messaging and promotions that I put on the right hand side. I've chosen to have a navigation at the top where they can view all of my courses and if they don't have access to it, similar to Thrivecart Learn, when they click on a particular course, it will take them to a page where if they're not logged in, it prompts them to log in, to join my membership, or to simply enroll in the course. If I attempt to look at a similar experience where I can see all the courses laid out in front of me and I'm not logged in, I am asked to log in. So currently a user must log in in order to see all of the courses. You could build something on your website and when clicked on, take them to a page like this for them to sign in. You could manufacture that experience, but it is not going to be built into the Thrivecart Learn ecosystem right now. For drip options, or the ability to give access to course materials based on certain time or restriction parameters in Thrivecart Learn, you simply go into your course and then at the top here, instead of instant, change it to dripped, click edit, and now you can drip based on time period, day of the month, specific calendar date, or after certain number of rebills. For Thrive Apprentice, well, the drip feature does not exist right now at all. It is supposedly coming in a future update where they're going to add the ability to drip out courses, but we don't know much more than that right now, except that it is possibly integrated with Thrive Automator. That leads us to integrations for Thrivecart. Thrivecart Learn is going to be integrated with pretty much everything that Thrivecart itself is integrated in. That's with all of the autoresponders and email marketing platforms. It's with various CRMs. It's with membership plugins. There's pretty much a way to connect anything you want to Thrivecart and create any sort of funnel you want, even if it's through something like Zapier. Under course options, Thrivecart also has behavior rules. You can choose when a student gets access to the course or a module becomes available to the student or a new lesson comes out or a student completes a module or completes a lesson, etc. You can choose what happens. And in most cases, that would mean using something like an autoresponder like ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign and then choosing to add them to a tag or a sequence so that it can start an email automation. For Thrive Apprentice, we have Thrive Automator. For example, when a user enrolls in a particular bundle, in this case, when they have purchased my Convology Pro bundle, which means they've enrolled in Convology Pro, I have a condition that then adds them to a list or a tag Influence CRM, which is my email marketing platform, and then that automatically starts them on a welcome series of emails. So, it's pretty much identical to Thrivecart's capabilities in that respect. With Thrive Automator, you have the ability to trigger things based off of their WordPress account because students have an account on your WordPress-based website. You can do everything from basic WordPress options. You can choose when a user enrolls in a bundle or a course or completes a particular lesson, purchases a new course, starts a trial, or submits a form, things like that. They even have something like Thrive Ultimatum's Evergreen campaigns built in. Thrive's been very open that Automator is a big part of the future of the Thrive suite. So similar to how Drip is coming out, I would expect Thrive Automator to integrate fully with lots of different things, becoming almost like a Zapier of sorts for things related to Thrive Apprentice and automations that you can build inside of this platform. Now how about a members hub, a place where when your users log into the platform, they have a central location. In Thrive Apprentice, we are able to create this with the rest of the Thrive Suite ecosystem. I can create a member dashboard where they can view their course library, participate in the community, access templates and downloads and things related to their membership, access their profile, support, and whatever I want. This is something I've completely made custom. Well, in Thrivecart Learn, unfortunately, there is no such dashboard. The user is required to log in, and upon logging in, all they see are the courses available to them, and if you set the option, the courses they don't have. So where Thrive Apprentice is more of an all-encompassing ecosystem, where a user logs into your website, accesses their courses, or access a community using the same login, like at circle.so, those same features, that same ecosystem, 
are not present with Thrivecart Learn. Thrivecart Learn is a completely autonomous, standalone, and in many ways disconnected or isolated platform for hosting your courses and does not interface with anything about your website. Contrast that with Thrive Apprentice, it is entirely integrated with your website, and as such, it leaves the maintenance, setup, integration, configuration, and all of those things that are often headache-inducing, it leaves those entirely up to you. So that's a quick look at Thrive Apprentice versus Thrivecart Learn. Hopefully that was helpful and gave you some insights into the differences between these two platforms. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or head over to convology.com for more Thrivecart Learn and Thrive Apprentice information.